Welcome back to another episode of Quick Stop Photoshop. Today I'm going to talk about how I like to set up my Photoshop side panel to optimize my editing workflow. I hope you guys enjoyed the new intro. I had a lot of fun making it and I'm super excited about it. But without further ado, let's uh, jump right into Photoshop here. So as you'll see, I split my side panel into three sections. So in the top section here, I have my quick access stuff, quick access tools, like adjustments, color, and histogram. I hit these frequently. And then on the uh, second or middle section, I've got my properties. This kind of branches off of adjustments. So for example, if we were to click the tones curve, you'll see that the tones curve now pops up here. By default, it'll pop up or occupy your uh, image space. And then finally on the bottom, we've got our layers and our channels. Obviously, we need to be able to work within our layers. We need to be able to create masks, move things around, group things together rename stuff, you know, fun stuff. And then we've got our channels here. I'm gonna kind of go through and explain why I do what I do and how you can get yours to look a lot like this. So on the top, like I said, this is my frequently accessed toolbar, if you will. Adjustments is absolutely key. I mean, it's got your levels, your tones, your exposure, your brightness, your color modification or alteration tools. So to get some stuff up here on your top tab, we're gonna go to window and you'll see this long list of things you can add. Let's say I wanted to add brushes so I can change what kind of brush I'm using. By default, it'll usually pop up here, and what you're gonna want to do is you can just take this box, and then you drag it until you're highlighting that tab there. So now it'll populate another tab along here. Now let's say you wanna remove something. It's easy, you just right click that tab and you hit close. Don't hit close tab group, it'll close everything and you'll be sad. So we're gonna do close, and then we're back to the three that we have. The second thing I have on here is color. The reason why I use color often and I like my color selection box is whenever I do any dodging or light bleeding, I like to inject a little bit of color into my brush. So for example, if I wanna bring out some of the greens here on this layer, then I can, let's just say I make a new layer here, and I can sample whichever color or the sky here, and you'll see that that color sampled color pops up here in the box, and then I can kind of make any modifications to it or make it more green if I want to, and then I can paint in, while I'm dodging, a little bit of saturation on some kind of desired color that I choose. And then finally, I have my histogram over here. I always like to keep an eye on the histogram. I like to make sure I've got a good amount of separation between my blacks and my left axis, and then a good amount of separation, a little bit of separation with the highlights with the left axis, or the right axis, so I know that I'm not clipping my highlights. Alrighty then, so like I said, the properties down here, by default, if you have your adjustments box up here and you click on stuff, it's gonna pop up in a box that's kind of free floating on its own. I don't like this in my image space, so if you wanna move that and create a third, or sorry, a second section, you just drag it until you get this line here to highlight blue, and then you drop it there. And you are gonna have to do some resizing just to make sure that it all fits Make sure you've got some good room up here for your color box and your adjustments so you can see everything. Make sure you've got some good room down here so that you can actually see a good amount of your layers. And then uh, finally, you'll notice I've got these colorful little symbols here on the left side. This is Raya Pro. So this is a plugin from Jimmy McIntyre. Highly recommend it. I'll uh, maybe do a quick stop Photoshop video covering why I like this panel. And you can keep any other kind of tools you want on that bar as well. Let's say you want to be able to access your brushes, but you don't want them up here. You can just drag them right there. And then on the very left side, honestly, I keep this pretty much at the default. I didn't mess with or add or rearrange any of the icons here or the tools here. I rarely con come over here. Ooh, I cannot talk today. I usually use my hotkeys. Alrighty guys. That pretty much sums it up. It's nice and simple, just in case you were curious on how I like to set things up. I will see you guys next time.